Hey guys, Icebox is finally back. Oh! What team comp should we run? Hmm, maybe the old meta one? No, no, we need Sage. How else are we gonna plan B? Sage, what do you need, Dater? Let's run Raze, Fade, and Deadlock. Then they'll never be able to plant. But I wanna play Chamber. All right, guys, that's enough. I think I have a way for us to pick a team comp. Feast your eyes. <laughs> oh, Meta Combinator 3000, what should we play on Icebox? Oh, wow. dude, that's insane. Uh, okay, okay. And what's our game plan? That's I like, like it. Hell yeah, brother. All right, guys, you heard the monkey. Let's suit up. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you fat little cunt. What is this? What's wrong, Jimmy? Uh, you can win with wacky team comps. You just have to think a little more. Give these guys a chance. No, Teets. I bet they're just throwing. I hate ranked. Well, you know there is a way to detect trolls, right? Even if they're hiding their name. With the free Blitz app, you'll get a good idea if you're getting trolls as soon as you hop into Agent Select. These red flags can save your elo. And you get free intel on your enemies too. There's an in-game dynamic stats overlay that gives you real-time statistics telling you where you need to improve. And once the game's over, there's a post-game review showcasing every area of your performance. This includes combat score, damage, and headshot percentage in comparison to other players in your match. I mean, they also support League, TFT, Apex, Fortnite, CS2, and even Pal World. So what are you waiting for? Blitz is free, they literally save your elo, and they support this channel. Link in the description. Download it now or I'm stealing your shoes. What is this? It's... It's awesome! Valorant is all about mixing and matching agents that fit well together and building game plans around them. The thing about Icebox is that it has a wide variety of elevations, making it awkward to both attack and defend, and this comp abuses them. With Jet's aerial assaults combined with Neon's blistering ground attacks, there's four different wonders of Icebox that we're going to cover making this team shine, and you're about to see one of them. Their pistol strat starts like most Icebox runs do, with most players ready to slam a sight while one player goes and lurks mid. But wait a minute, do you guys see that? Jet has an updraft and half armor on pistol hmm i wonder what jet's going to do with an ability that makes you go up anywho the offense are going b while the defense are expecting a in their 1-1-3 setup where the three fight while these two stall but the offense burst through the by phase behind a jump spot from neon and that's all they need to get the green light reject sprint through main pass yellow and are headed right for viper <laughs> Uh, let me ask all you a question. If you're Viper, which one do you shoot? Is it A, the jet updrafting dashing on top of you, B, the neon sliding past you to the right, or C, the cypher running at you with his knife out around the corner foaming at the mouth? <coughs> Wrong. You aren't killing any of them because Breach is backing all three of them up with a fault line from yellow. Viper got hit from every angle, from the front, the back, and on top. This is why Breach selflessly gave his ghost to Jet. He's not going to get any value from it all the way back back here. Instead, Jet was able to abuse the verticality that B-Site provides to her advantage, while Neon slipped through one side and her Cypher swung the other for a suffocating triple pinch on one of Viper's favorite areas to contest the plants from. Remember, this multi-elevated crunch is only the first of four Wonders of Icebox that we're going to see in this video, each of which make this comp's game plan seem more and more convincing. But the round isn't even close to over. Just look at the timestamp. Yoshi has traded out her Viper for a Cypher, and Scars are double-checking Kitchen for any lurks. RC gets the plant down, but did the defense know Neon snuck out the back door? <laughs> Yeah, they did know. You got me. <laughs> Yoshi's really carrying this round, by the way. As he dropped from kitchen, he recognized that his Viper saw Neon slide this way earlier, and that none of his teammates are through Snowman. They don't have control of the space and need to treat it like a danger zone. But once it's rinsed out, the defense can focus on this half. Viper gets pierced by a shock dart. Almost a second, and Harbor flips up his high tide. And now what are the offense going to do? そして、ハイタイドを使って射線を切っていった。ま、コーブもありますからね。しっかりとアンダーのチェックも怠りません。さあ、体力がある<笑><笑> 
This is exactly why teams run hardware and icebox. When his team is retaking site, his first step is to put up his high tide, and once that's done, his team can flood out, clear what's in front of it, deploy his cove, and it's at this point where the enemies are screwed. All you have to do is tap the defuse and they'll start freaking out. They have to spam the spike in order to get the diffuser off. But you also have to burst this bubble, and with this wall blocking it, you don't know what's going on behind it until it's too late. And now with rifles, this isn't the worst thing, as the cove only has 500 health. But with pistols, the better play would have been to, hey you big weenies, what are you doing? Get up here and fight! If we don't, they're going to retake with Harbor's Cove, then we'll lose! But what they did instead was stay yellow and die. So while Rejects started this round with their foot on the gas, they took it off just a bit too early. Despite losing piss around, Reject tried a strat that might look troll, but makes a lot of sense. Their entire team either saved or bought pistols, but Jet bought a Guardian. And no, she's not trying to hog all the weapons and kills like a fatso. This is because, like we saw in pistol round, she's the best agent for taking engagements. And if she dies, one of her teammates can pick up the rifle and have their turn. Especially on Icebox, where the plan of attack is to usually group up, scale, and run it down, the Guardian can get tossed around pretty easily. It's like a big waterfall effect of everyone having their turn with the Guardian. And Jet did find an opening with it, which eventually led to them winning the round. But then Reject gave a round back to Scars, despite them only having classics. How? Because this map has been out of rotation for 9 months, and B is still a busted site, without Sage, Harbor, or Gecko at least. <sighs> Anywho, this round, I'm about to show you guys arguably the coolest execute you'll ever see. It starts with Reject's 4-1 formation, ready to barrel down a site into Scar's soon-to-be 2-3 setup. The defense recon, it gets broken. The offense use their cam, broken. And the defense try to wall up, but it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Golly! Did you guys see that? And Nian was like, new, 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 and Jet was like, and Nian was like, oh, duh. <clears throat> sorry. But this execute is similar to what we saw on Pistol. Reject's comp is built around abusing the verticality provided on both sides. With Neon torching anyone on the ground, Jet whizzing by anyone in the air, and Breach bombarding people from the back line, this comp starts to look like a well-oiled double penetration comp. Oh, wait, that doesn't sound right. A double dive comp. Because Neon and Jet are so quick and can easily scale up and over obstacles around the map, the site becomes hell for defenders to play in. Making this the second to four Wonders of Icebox, where these two can abuse this verticality. Icebox is all about four or five banning a site, running it down over and over, so why not play to the map's strengths? But their execute is more complex than Breach Stun and Neon Jet Go Kill. Look closely. To start, Cypher cam to this wall like a bougie Soviet art and cleared close for his duelist to run up. And for a brief second, you can see Breach stun the left side of sight, while Neon lined up a relay bolt to cover Jenny and top bottom rafter. Meaning, anyone playing on sight would be trapped inside and get eviscerated by this high-low double dash. And once Neon knew that there was more people wanting to dance, she whipped out her ult, which is prime for punishing these close quarters fights. That's also why Neon bought a stinger. It's the perfect tool for this site and game plan. Now the defense did take down Viper, who tried to look through Kitchen with that thunderstorm happening on A, but they don't feel confident enough going up against Breach's rolling thunder and elect to save. Wanna see me slam A? Wanna see me do it again? Reject are on fire. They feel their toes tingling and want to hit this site fast again. Four attackers ready to scale, three defenders prepare to defend. But this time, Jet has migrated over from B, ready to contest this early line on A and prevent another fast hit from happening again. Are Reject going to be able to push them off without a drone? The round starts with both teams trading their reconnaissance tools. A dart for a cam. Jet gets taken down and Neon's pissed. Moving at the speed of sound, the defense just couldn't stop this blue ball of energy. When combined with Breach, Neon's entries become second to none. Her relay bolts allow her to entry off her own utility, and Breach's fault line is ready to blast anyone he spots off her minimap, allowing the rest of the team to scale up as she zips around the site. One moment she's 410, then jump up, nest, then in the shop tab below buying my merch. The op got completely overwhelmed, not having any idea where to aim. And look, Reject have learned from Pistol Round. They can't stop fighting Yet because Harbor is still alive. Neon's fast line has given her cover to move under after, and I don't think Viper knows she's here. 
ただスクリーンあるんでどうしても手前で押さえ続けないといけないですねさあブライアンのピークを抑え込んだぞそしてロックダウンさあこのロックダウンは効くハルセ無理やり動き取るヘブン側さあニューラルセフトも入るがスクリーンもなくなったぞムトはここは引き切れていないさあワンバイワンだいやカバーは入るかハルスしっかりと詰めてきたのが抑えるグレンブリーチンサイファーとキープファイティングアップライクディスイヴンドゥルニアンダイドゴールスターズフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイバーガーフォーデボーティブユーハッドイ
Reject have been able to tack on a few more rounds behind a nice mid default that set Nian up to cause havoc in mid while her team went B, and then they rolled over Scars again, who were on an eco. All game, the defense have been getting trampled over and disrespected, but here, we're finally going to see the biggest weakness of this wacky comp. This round, the defense have swapped their setup into a 2-2-1, where Viper receives any pressure, she's going to spread out her pit, denying the plants, and then these two are contesting mid, and the op, this comes Kryptonite, is being set up on B. But where's Breach aiming with this fault line? Uh, did these guys run out of gas? And yes, this should be the third Wonder of Icebox that this duelist duo can abuse. By Jet dashing top tube and Neon sliding underneath, they can immediately double peek anyone in either of these areas in just mere seconds of the vibe barriers dropping. But I think because this recon dart tag Jet, she didn't feel comfortable at Mach 10 speeds and slowed down, backed off, and hopped into tube. But would these two have been able to trade out Harbor and eventually pinch this up had they kept going? Maybe. I think they should have kept moving as this was their only chance to take down the 4700 credit skill cannon. Because at the start of the round, Cypher did use his spy cam to act as a pseudo recon dart, but it's not that effective as a scan. Harbor was able to cascade for Jet, which blocked her from the vision of this camera. This then gave Breach a false sense of security that no one could be pushed up this far. And now that he's down, Little Cypher is afraid, calling for Mommy Viper to come over from mid. But now that she's here, the offense are trapped, with an op. Spike Following the round we just covered, the op continued to give the offense more and more problems. She got spotted on this initial jump spot, but that's not enough to push back this sniper. To do so, you need to use smokes to make the opper worried about which angle you're coming from, maybe a flash instead to destroy their retinas and force them back, or, or a drone so you can pre-fire them or force them to shoot it, allowing you to move forward. And on Icebox, Breach's flashes don't cover a lot of angles when scaling, Jet's smokes don't last that long, and Cypher's cages are hard to place properly. Having to guess instead of just to literally knowing whether an op is in a million different off angles or not is hard to counter. Sorry, buddy, you're just not enough. Remember what happened last round? You need to leave. Plus, when you have Sova blasting a hole through your team with this Hunter Fury, it's a lot to deal with at once. So they lost that round. Then they tried to do a weird mid to A push to get around this Viper's pit, and that didn't work. So now, overtime. But this is Reject's weaker half. More on that next round. But without any abilities to re-clear space or gather info, and without the best mid anchor, the only thing they can do is fight, which is exactly what we see being set up in their 2-2-1 setup. But Teet, why is our Sentinel on A? Shouldn't he be in mid? A good question, Viper. Well, the thing about this brand new window is that it allows the defense to keep one person pinned on boiler and can watch these two lanes, even if the bottom one gets smoked off. And then if you have someone watching under tube, like Breaches, you're okay. And since he can help his duelist fight the main from here with his fault line, this isn't a bad setup, especially because Cypher has some ratty setups on A. Now this brawl setup is getting put to the test because Scars have most of their squad headed that way. Sova lines up a dart for Crane. It's Spots Jet, who was top yellow. She's forced to drop but Breach radios in. Both duelists swing with their fault line, but this lurk wall has shielded the attackers from this fight. Jet backs off, but Breach has come over to help and is going to flash from top nest since he can still spot under tube from here. Now as the offense moves forward, are they going to clear Neon? <laughs> As soon as Nia took the shot, Breach flashed. She double relay bolted to deny a trade and flipped up her fast lane to get out like a smooth criminal. But because of all this noise she made sliding and getting out, Jet was able to get up on top of this box, wait for the wall to fall, and got hers without risking her life. And while we're here, yellow is the fourth and final wonder of Icebox. When Riot removed green from B main, it became a lot harder to defend as it removed a lot of strong off angles from the defense. But with how well Neon excels in close quarter combat, she can play down low while Jet plays up high for a consistent high low double peak anywhere. And the same goes for the 
their offense. Is the defender playing yellow? Tell me. How are they supposed to stop a double dash coming from 90 degrees above them and a Neon who can actually run and gun? Regardless, the bait and brawl setup has given Reject a player advantage, and this trade on the Lurk through mid has made it a 4 versus 2. Viper and Harbor drop back to catch their breath before deciding to put up their toxic screen back up and scale forward. The Scars have won their duels, evening the advantage. But where's Cypher? He could be anywhere. If Neon just plays her life, Cypher can find massive value from his flank. Because Cypher could come from anywhere, these two tried to double swing multiple angles, but got backstabbed. And then Harbor tried to isolate his ones. Ah, 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 you can't leave just yet. Listen, I don't want you guys to have the wrong idea. This cop is great, but has its weaknesses, and not just dealing with an op. As a matter of fact, defense should be hard for this team. And it kinda was. On the first pistol round, Scar started by defaulting into B-Main, and planted their Viper behind Cardboard. Slotting in Lurks is smart, because the defense lack tools to clear out areas of the map once they've been defaulted into. But they kind of have one thing that they can use, and a lot of them actually. Bullets. <laughs> Yeah. Because this lurk went down, Reject were able to shift over and stack A just in time to win Pistol. Then on the bonus, Breach tried to stun Garage so that Neon could get a freebie with her Bucky. Bucky. <laughs> that didn't work, but eventually Breach came over to form a high low with Jet on Yellow, which even out the advantage, but they still lost. Now on round 4, we got to see some nasty Cypher setups in action. With the way his cages are laid out, he can rat around and reposition, making it impossible to clear these cages out effectively. And when you combine them with Viper's Pit and low to the ground trips, it's hard to penetrate. Reject won the following ego, and here's where we start to see them fall apart. Their duelist just couldn't hold this Lurk wall, as when the offense actually use it, there's like a hundred different angles to worry about. Then Breach came over to help E, but mid then got weaker, and Viper went down as she had to hold all three lanes. Having a killjoy in this area instead of a cypher might have helped, but even then, with no reconnaissance, it's hard. The offense can re-hit, leave, cut noise, or hit the subscribe button. It's hard to tell. But on round 7, Neon and Breach tried to stun and fight mid. I mean, it fits, but that wasn't a permanent solution as Viper's smoke created more question marks as soon as it went up, forcing the two players to stay here. And cypher having a solo B just isn't a good idea. <laughs> Eventually, the half ended 6 to 6, then the game 14 to 12 in favor of Reject. Overall, this comp does have some flaws, but it can work. Any can. You just need a solid game plan behind it. On this last round, Reject opened with a new stun updraft default that covers most of these bases. Jet dashes and acts as a drone, and the stuns make it pretty safe. And because they haven't shown this all game, the defense were pretty worried that it was B, but it was a fake. They ended on A, where Neon entered by bouncing in between her walls, all goofy like, and ended the game. And now, all of a sudden, this comp doesn't look so weird. If you want to see Goofy, check out this Ascent comp. Reyna, on this map? Wild. Just click it.